Hello girls, great to meet you. My name is Kainer and this is my first interview in your language. Oh. Wait, that's wow. so cool. I'm so honored. Thank you. Good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because uh, I'm a little nervous, but I will try my best, okay? Yes. No worries yes. at all. Let's go? Yes, let's, let's go. go. Uh, Senna, how do you work on the aesthetics and the visuals of the show to create the atmosphere that fans love, maintaining fidelity to the Tolkien universe? That's a really great question. Um, when I approach uh, the Tolkien world, I'm very much inspired by season one and the visuals of season one. Then season two, we're expanding on those visuals. And a lot of references that I was using with my cinematographer, Jean-Philippe Gozard, was Caravaggio painting. Mm. And I would look at Caravaggio's work with the light and the aesthetics of the composition and and kind of infuse it when we were setting up the shots mm -hmm. and kind of you know showing the different worlds um, for this season. So I very much look into art, um, whether it's a Caravaggio or sculpture, in order to translate it onto camera. Markella, mm -hmm. how do you see the development of Nori in this second season? Oh, I would say this season she has to mature really quickly. She has to grow up really fast because in the first season, she still had a family around her and she had Poppy like right there. Um, and this season is definitely more, you know, her finding her, her own sense of purpose as well as with the stranger. And so that presents its own challenges. Megan, hmm. how Pop developed in the second season? I think there's, already a development that you see throughout the first season for her and what's lovely is that that continues throughout season two and I think it's been written really beautifully um, there's a lot of self-growth and development and she begins to explore aspects of her life that she's never even thought about or been able to explore before you know one of those is map breeding and leading a group she's never experienced that before and so being plunged into that is um, very scary, but she's ready for it. She's ready for it, and she has she has other beings to take care of, which sort of leads her through. How season two expands the Rings of Power universe in terms of new place and cultures within Middle Earth? Season two definitely um, expands some amazing worlds. Uh, we are at the Desert of Rune, where um, we are taken with Nori and Poppy to meet the stores, which, um, you know, they're not nomadic uh, like the Harfoots, and they're not like the river folk, so that's something that we get to see. We shot that in Tenerife, in the Canary Islands, and of course we were in a canyon, and we had like beautiful rocks and lots of dust and in the middle of an arid desert, which was a great um, addition to kind of organic materials for the series. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also able to expand the world and meet the Ents, which is so big in the uh, Tolkien lore. And uh, through our own deer, we get to, to know some of these Ents and, um, you know, that's another world that we expand upon in the second series. Amazing. Are the end scenes this season that were particularly challenging for you as an actress? Um, that's an interesting question. I would say, well, I would say that the main, maybe, I wouldn't say that they were challenging per se. Some of the really emotional scenes that, that I have actually with, um, with the stores, mm -hmm. uh, just reflecting on how big of a realization it is for Nori that there's there's a connection there um, and so that was just you know accessing that place and and um, making sure that there was a fine line between her feeling um, that that kind of that level of vulnerability with the goon but also um, also just being so open and wide-eyed at, at this new uh, experience and, and meeting these new beings. So, um, and then because the actors were so amazing and the directors are so amazing, <laughs> the crew, so it just all, um, it was all a very supportive environment and, and made it a lovely experience. Amazing. Mm. 
uh, Megan. Uh, the relationship between Pop and Norway was an important part of the first season. Mm -hmm. How does this it involve in the second season? Yeah, I, I think it just keeps growing. And what's so lovely is that they already had such a foundation to their level of friendship that was there before season one even began. Um, and so that growth continues and it's the establishment still kind of develops. I would say that they both have, through sort of like their own sort of personal growths and journeys, you know, there's sort of, uh, you know, friendship can be, have like parts that are liquid. Okay. It can kind of evolve in your own circles. You know, you've both got things going on, but at the end of the day, you still come together and there's always that foundation there. So I would say that that's, yeah, that's kind of there. And I think what's lovely about their friendship is that that won't go away, no matter where they are in the world, or no matter what the circumstances are, um, they will always be friends and family. Como explico para elas agora que eu estou muito feliz e muito nervoso? I'm so happy and nervous. Yeah. Oh. I'm so happy and nervous. Obrigada, obrigada, obrigada. Oh, que linda. Little bit. Dá tempo de tirar uma foto? Sim. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was great.